Hey everyone, I'm Desi Chang and welcome to my Ultimate Camera Backpack Gear Review. As you can tell, I'm a little bit of a bag whore because I'm always in the search to find the perfect backpack and there is none. Uh, each one of these has certain features that I like and, and also that I don't like. Uh, today I'm not going to get into too many specific details because you can, all, you can find the specs yourself online. Um, I'm really just going to outline what I like about each one and what I don't like um, and also let you know which one um, you know, which one is better for what use and what purpose. Uh, I'm shooting, you know, one to five days a week. And so, so sometimes I only need, you know, one camera and a lens and sometimes I'll need like my full entire gear. So there isn't one backpack that kind of fits all categories. So definitely there's, um, you know, at least two or three that I can kind of use all the time. Um, so who do we have? First up, we have the Peak Design 30 liter everyday backpack. Next, we have the InCase Pro DSLR Backpack, the Low Pro DSLR Video Fast Pack 350, the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450, the Think Tank Shapeshifter Version 1, and the Think Tank Streetwalker Hard Drive. So the first part I'm gonna talk about is my favorite backpack. This is the backpack that I use almost every single day. Just because I'm not shooting big, large projects, I'm not carrying on tons of equipment, I'm carrying minimal equipment and a laptop, hard drive, and uh, just some small little things here and there, uh, documents and things like that. So these two bags are the perfect ones. Um, now, I will say that this is definitely, you know, the prettiest bag and whatnot, but uh, the most functional bag, actually, the award wins goes to uh, the in-case backpack, and I'll tell you the main functionality. So first off, oh, the Peak Design one is great. I mean, all the features are loaded. Um, definitely a lot of like uh, the small little things um, outperform the pro, the, the in-case one. However, the, the main thing is the functionality of it. Uh, for me, I just wanna have like an easy access to absolutely everything. So with the in-case one, you know, I have my top compartment if I need to grab my laptop, you know, that's not a problem because the Peak Design has something similar where easy access to your laptop. Um, the other thing I like about it is that, you know, it does have, you know, uh, a slot where you can put your documents um, or an iPad or anything like that. And the other great thing is it's got a large enough void that you can actually cram like another jacket um, or something or a bunch of things and it goes all the way down to the bottom. So quite a lot of extra space in this kind of like front compartment. Uh, but the main functionality of it is very simple. It's, uh, you know, this back, back part right here. If I need to grab my gear, I'll set it down, unzip it, and it has absolutely everything that I need. Um, I can just quickly just grab, grab, grab. I can fit two DSLRs, uh, one on the top and one on the bottom. I get to fit an extra body just on the side here, 70 to 200 if I just move the dividers out. Um, just a very, very plain and simple, lightweight, functional backpack. And that is why I prefer this over that. Now, <clears throat> some of the things I don't like about the, the in-case one, it doesn't have a large enough water bottle holder. Um, as you can tell, it's very, very tight, small and thin. Um, you probably can only cram like one of those small, thin, like Nestle ones. Um, it's kind of difficult to kind of get a larger one in there. Um, and uh, the other thing I like about this one, it has a nice little quick access top zip, top zip uh, compartment so you can quickly just access your DSLR and bring it out. Great for mirrorless, uh, great for every day. Um, love it when I go traveling. It's nice and you know, slim, well, it can be slim, and it can expand out. Um, just a very, very simple design, uh, lightweight, and I love it. So that's that. So, doesn't always stand up. So now, huge, lots of buzz about this backpack. And I'll tell you the main reason why I don't like it. Um, it's because, you know, with that one compartment on this one, you could literally get quick access to like all of your lenses and everything like that in just one zip and just set it down. And you know, it's also um, back zip, so it's good for security. Also, if you set it on the ground outside, uh, it's not gonna get dirty, your back's not gonna get dirty because you're gonna put it face down um, and this, you know, the, the backside remains clean. So, but for this one, you know, when you have to access your cameras, um, yeah, you could go from the top, but the top access 
is more so, um, you know, it's just, it's just got space for you to kind of put your jacket and put your other random things. But I mean, if I wanted to access, you know, say the stuff from this side, you know, I can grab my lens and whatnot, but okay, well, let's say if I have to get my other lens, oh, it's on the other side, or I can kind of fish around and try and dig it through here, but it's kind of cumbersome and it's not easy. And I find that if I, you know, forget to zip this and I try and zip the other side that, you know, a lens would fall up. So I'd have to open this side first and then I have to re-zip it back to get to the other side to get my other lens or my other thing. Um, so that's the main reason why I don't like, what I don't like about this bag anyways, but if they kind of uh, fuse these two bags together, um, it would have been almost the perfect backpack. Um, but yeah, so my all time favorite backpack, everyday backpack that is, um, would go to the uh, InCase Pro DSLR backpack. And this one, unfortunately, although it looks amazing, it has a great functionality, um, I think I'd probably leave that one at home. So the next part of the review has to do with larger backpacks. Um, and you know, this is when I go on an assignment and you can carry around a lot of gear. Um, bigger gear, heavier gear, just a lot more in general. Uh, so we got the Think Tank uh, hard drive, Streetwalker hard drive, and we also have the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450. Um, Right away, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm probably gonna go with uh, the Low Pro one. Uh, and the reason why is just uh, you know a few different reasons. I mean, they both could carry a Pro um, DSLR, so such as like a Canon 1DX, which is great because they have that depth. Um, they have tons of you know compartments and spaces and dividers that you can kind of move around. Uh, the one thing is about with the Think Tank is that um, you know it's the top flap. So, you know, when you set it down, you have to set it down on the back side, which could get dirty if you're out in the field, out in the dirt or anything like that. Great thing about the Low Pro one, it is back zip. So you put it down on this side and your back side won't get dirty. Um, this is the compartment of the Low Pro. Um, you can definitely fit your DSLR, I mean your your uh, pro version anywhere, whereas this one you can only fit it at the uh, top side, just because there is the laptop compartment within it. Um, it's a little bit tight with the laptop, so that's one thing I don't like. I mean, you can fit your 15 inch MacBook Pro in there, no problem, but if you want to squeeze in any other documents, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a little bit tricky to kind of get that in. Um, the, one, the other thing of why I like this backpack uh, more than the other one is also because of all the straps and all the additional straps right here that you can um, you know, attach on and expand. So the main thing is expandability. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I'll need to add a couple pouches on here because I have to add a couple things or, 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 or whatnot. Um, I like this. This is the uh, Think Tank uh, skin pouch. So this is uh, quite thin and only expands when necessary. And I usually just put it like right in the front right here. And if I needed to kind of uh, add on like an extra couple flashes or a couple lenses or, or whatever like that. Um, and it's also definitely, it feels like a very, very hard shell. So I feel like, you know, if I drop this bag or anything like that, I feel like it's, it's quite, it's really, really well protected um, for all my expensive gear. Um, the only thing, the big thing I do not like about this bag, so I actually purchased this bag first, and uh, it's the straps. So if you're gonna be walking around for a long day, like a full day, and you have to carry on your backpack. These straps are thin and they, they hurt. They, they, or they don't hurt, but they, they just kind of wear on you and they're, they're definitely the most uncomfortable straps out of all of the bags that I have here, um, which is unfortunate because, you know, this is such a great bag all around, except for just the straps. Straps are just terrible. I mean, even my, the, the everyday, bags, uh, the in-case as well as the Peak Design ones are better than this and those ones are smaller bags. So kind of weird, Low Pro, you should make a version two and beef up the straps. Um, these, the, so then why I got this one was because, you know, had nice straps. Um, so the straps are definitely much more comfortable. You can wear it for longer periods of time. Um, but, uh, you know, for me, you know, I, I still take this one just because, you know, a lot of times I'm not, you know, walking around for a long period of time or just, you know, take it, grab, drop it, unpack and go kind of thing. Um, so yeah, between these two bags, 
I would go for the Low Pro. So I'm gonna be quick with this one. If you wanted just a simple, lightweight, uh, functional backpack, uh, the Low Pro Video DSLR Fast Pack is, is, is pretty bare bones, but it works, it's functional, um, and it's really lightweight. And um, you know, this is the, one of the first backpacks that um, I started out with and uh, I used it for you know, a couple of years and uh, uh, it's great. And I, I don't think I'll sell it just because it's, it's, it's handy to just, you know, throw in if I needed to uh, give gear to someone and just, just throw into this bag and just give it to another shooter or something like that. Uh, this thing is great. Okay, so lastly, we have the Think Tank Shapeshifter version one. Um, number one, I mean, the first thing that I'm gonna say about this bag is that this bag has the most comfortable straps I have ever tried in any backpack. So Think Tank, um, Low Pro, um, you know, Peak Design, in case whoever, um, you need to try these straps on and see how wonderful they are. They are honestly better than any other bag. Um, unfortunately, you know, the, the bag itself doesn't fit my function, so I don't use this bag too much. Um, but I just love that, you know, if I need to be traveling a lot or I really, really need to go from one place to another place and it's gonna take a long day, uh, it's gonna be a long journey, this is gonna be what's gonna keep my shoulders comfortable. Um, this bag is great. You know, it's, it's, you, you think that it's, you know, very slim, it doesn't hold a lot, but surprisingly, it holds a ton of stuff. Um, you know, you could watch other videos and, and blogs and stuff to see what I mean. But uh, the one thing I just don't like about it is that, you know, you can tell that it doesn't hold its form. You, you can't set it down, it's gonna sit up right. It always falls down. You always have to set it down on one side or the other side. Um, when you put like documents in there with, with no laptop, there's no um, form factor. So, you know, your, your folders and things could get a little bit, you know, warped. Um, and also you can't really attach a, um, a camera, a lens with the body together. You have to kind of disassemble it. So this is more for something like you, you travel to a place, you set it down, you grab your gear, you assemble it, uh, and then you just literally just leave it and, um, and yeah. Uh, the other thing I don't like about this is that uh, it doesn't have as easy of an access to your lenses. So, I mean, let, let's say like I've, I've already assembled my, my, my body and, and lens, but I need to get another, you know, another lens or I gotta switch it, then I gotta unzip all the way, then I might have to fish it for it down here and then take it out or, or version two, they have Velcro straps which kind of help you easily take it out, but you gotta fish for it, then you gotta do it, and then you gotta, at the same time, you know, make sure it doesn't fall out, and then you gotta put it back and hold it back and zip it all together. So, um, it's a little bit cumbersome. Um, it works for a lot of people, I know. A lot of people, a lot of my friends, they love this bag. Uh, but for me, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's great, but it's not great. Uh, but the one thing I just, I just wanna share with you is these straps are amazing. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you liked my uh, camera bag review. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it and definitely please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Desi Chang and thank you so much for watching.